All praises, glory and honor to Yahweh Ba Shami Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of GMS for showing me this great truth. And Shalom and salutations and honors to my brothers in the four corners to pronounce this truth with sincerity, long suffering, and longevity. And we get into um, Second Ezra, chapter seven, verse fi verse fifty nine, and it reads, "For this is the life whereof Moses spake unto the people while he lived, saying." Choose thee life that thou mayest live. Alright? Now, most people think that they're living. Most people are dead. You're walking zombies. If you don't have Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, you are a walking zombie. You are dead. The living dead. Alright? That's why Moses told the Israelites to choose life. Now, what life was he talking about? Yahweh Shai. And before you can even get to Yahweh Shai, you have to do his father's commandments. Laws, statutes, judgments, ordinances, and, um... To the best of your ability, all right. But your churches don't tell you that, man. Nate don't tell you that, man. All right. Nate's trying to get everybody back to uh, Jesus Christ when he knows that name's flawed. All right. Um, verse sixty. Nevertheless, they believe not him, nor yet the prophets after him. No, nor me would have spoken unto them that they should not be such like it, that they should not be such heaviness in their destruction as shall be joy over them that are persuaded to salvation. That are persuaded to salvation. That's why he said you have to be convinced within your own mind. Alright? Let every man be convinced within his own mind. Alright? I'm persuaded to salvation. Why? Because I studied to show myself approved, and I found that this, what um, the elders of GMS, the great elders of GMS, the top elders of GMS told me the truth. Alright? And listening to other camps is going to get you messed up, man. You can't put um, new wine in old bottles, man. Alright? You, you can't use Yahweh Ba Shami Yahweh Shah and then go over there to Nate's camp, man. Nate is an old bottle, man. He's still he's still doing that old shit, man. And so does so does uh H O D C, man. All right. And let me go to um Second Ezra's chapter nine, verse thirty-two. But our fathers, which received the law, kept it not and observed not the, thy ordinances. And through the fruit of thy law did not perish, neither could it, for it was thine. Yet they that received it perished, because they kept not the thing that was sown in them. They kept not the thing that was sown in them. Which means what? This is only for the Israelites. For the Israelites are the only ones that have this sown into them. That's why we could get an award, and the first person we want to say, thank, is not our mom, is not our dad, but it's the most high. All right, we give everything back to the Most High. All right, but if you're not doing the will of the Most High, then then you're not doing um, the thing that was sown into you. All right, this is not for everybody. This is only for a selected few. Like he states, uh, many are called, but few are chosen. Uh, verse 34. And lo, it was a custom when the ground has received seed or the sea, a ship, or any vessel, meat or drink, that, that being perished wherein it was sown or cast into, that thing also which was sown or cast therein or received, doeth perish and remaineth not with us, but with us it hath not happened so. But with us it hath not happened so. Why? Because we're of the chosen. All right? For we have received the law, perished by sin, and our heart also which received it. Notwithstanding, the law perished not, but remaineth in his force. The law perished not. Ain't that the same thing Yahweh Shai stated? Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ? He said, heaven and earth will perish, but the law ain't never going to perish, man. All right? Until heaven and earth goes, 
you're still under the law. Now, once having an earth pass, we have been redeemed from the law, for we were in the body of Yahweh Shai. But the law still stands, man. The law that we have here in this Bible is still going to be in the new kingdom. It's just we are going to be the people who have the law that tells you the law and going to do to the law perfectly. Now, if any Israelite chooses to mess up, he will be dealt with, but it will be in righteousness, man. I, mean, I don't know how hard it is. It's not that hard, man. It's not hard at all. All right. Let's get here. Go to... This is Baruch chapter 5, verse 5. Arise, O Jerusalem. Now, Jerusalem is talking about... Um, the Israelites, all right, not the not the land, okay. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look about towards the east. Why do we look towards the east? Because the east gate, that's where Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai's feet is at, and that's who we bow down to, towards the east gate, all right. Arise, O Jerusalem, and stand on high, and look about towards the east, and behold, thy children gathered from the west unto the east by the word of the Holy One. Rejoicing in the remembrance of the Most High. From the east to the west we are gathered. Alright? That's why um, the elders say that, yeah, we're global. Unlike Nate. Nate spread out the United States. But he ain't global. Why? Because the Most High is not with him, man. The elders didn't say, oh, we need people to be all over the world. It was the spirit of Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai that did that, man. Alright? It was the spirit of Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. Not nobody else. Alright. Try to get this uh scripture real quick. I think it's seven. For the live element. Okay, here we go. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Alright? Not everybody. Alright? Especially those uh, uh, sweet water cornbread pastors. Alright? But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Now, what's the will of the Father? Doing the commandments. Keeping the law, keeping the statutes, the judgments, the ordinances to the best of your ability. Alright? Remembering the Sabbath and honoring it. Holying it. Alright? Verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils. And in thy name have done many wonderful works. And then I will profess unto them, I never knew ye. Depart from me, ye that work inequity. All right. Depart from me, that ye that work in equity. All right. Which is what? That's a shot to your uh, your uh, your pastors. That's a shot to Nate. That's a shot to anybody that's coming other than the name of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. You guys are working in equity because you're not doing the will of the Father. All right. There is no free will. It's either you're doing the will of the Father or you're going to do the will of the devil. But you're going to do somebody's will. Shalom, Mama. Akiyam.